Welcome to Extra Magic Tricks number 747. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Extra Magic Tricks 740 to 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll to the Excel Magic Tricks section. In this video here, I want to do expected returns for our portfolio and standard deviation for a portfolio. And I have done other videos. The purpose of this video is to show in one or two minutes the array formulas or single cell formulas for calculating expected return on a portfolio and expected uh, standard deviation on their portfolio. If you want the long story and see all the details of what all of this means, you watch these two videos here. All right, uh, here's all of our expected returns, our estimated returns, stocks one to six. Here's the weights in our portfolio. And here are our probabilities for the economic state that we believe could occur. Now, expected uh, return is for any given cell. We need to for for cell we need to take this times the weight times that and then simply add it. So we're going to do it in one simple formula using some product. We simply take the guts of this. These are all of our estimated returns for each stock given each uh, state times our weights times our probabilities. Now that formula right there is just succinct and to the point, enter. Now one caveat, if you have words here like no because it means no, that uh, formula won't work. So we're going to assume that you have um, all numbers there, right? There's videos over here that you can get a get around that problem. All right, uh, but this is for uh, the quick and the dirty. Now, the standard deviation for the portfolio. Well, first, in our side of our formula, we need to figure out what the expected return is for each one of our states. And that's going to involve taking this column times this weight, this column times this weight, et cetera, and adding. And that will give us a vertical column of returns for these states. Then we're going to subtract the expected return, square it, and multiply it by the probability. I'm going to use some product. And then I'm going to take open parentheses and watch this. I'm just going to go that times this plus that times this plus that times this plus that times this plus that. All right, and so that number right there, if you were to, and I'm going to close parentheses, if you were to highlight this and hit the F9 key, that gives us a vertical array of the expected returns for each state, Control Z. Now, what do we need to do from that? I actually do not want to put that parentheses there. Actually, well. Um, that will calculate uh, correctly in this order, because it will do all the multiplication and then add and subtract left to right. So we can just subtract from it the expected return, which we've already calculated up here. And then we need to square it and multiply it by a column of probabilities. you got to be kidding me. It's that easy? Not quite because that will give us the sum of all those. But then we need to take what? The square root. We have in our standard deviation calculation uh, squared. So to get back down to the same unit, you got a square root. And you got to be kidding me. Boom. S standard deviation for their portfolio in one single formula. So there you have it. We'll see you next trick.